Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Say it with me. Now we're in the present moment. Now my kings and queens can sit back while I've stole this positive content and this wisdom upon y'all. You feel me? But before we get into any of that, let's take a moment to be grateful, right? Let me set my book down. Let's take a moment to be grateful, right? Think about it. We woke up today. We got to see another day. We got to see another day. We still got purpose to serve. You feel me? Even if you don't know what your purpose is, you still got purpose to serve. If, if you understand what I'm saying, right? Think about it. You st leg, still got legs, bro. Arms. Woke up in it. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. My bad. <laughs> now I'm in my bad. Self-love. You feel me? You, think about it. Most of y'all woke up in a bed this morning. Most of y'all woke up in a bed. There's people who woke up under bridges. On, on those little um benches by bus stops or, or benches in the park. Like, bro, be grateful. You probably ate today too, didn't you? But guess what? 40,000 people are going to die today of starvation. That's crazy, right? Be grateful that you got food, bro. Be grateful, bro. Come on, man. You see, you already got a, you see the positive energy I'm already spreading to you? Hold up. Take this. Bow, bow, bow. Call me. Ha, nigga. You feel me? Take that positive energy. You feeling that? I know I'm feeling it. My, my energy. I'm on a new level of positive energy right now, bro. As y'all seen my video yesterday, let me pick up my book. My energy is on, is on a whole nother level. You see this positivity? Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's get this throat chakra going. Enough talk, enough said. You feel me? Now, topic of my video today is things that lower your vibration. Because I did things that made you happy. <clears throat> I'm going to rock in my throat, boy. Now, I did things that make you happy, right? Now I'm going to tell you things that will make you sad. So you know what to do. So you know what to look out for. You feel me? Number one, reminiscing in the past or holding on to like grudges and guilt. You feel me? Because we knew reminisce in the past, right? Here's the past. Present. Here's the present moment. Here's the future. Now we're all over here in the past. You go and, and you're sitting here like, damn, bro. I, ah, man, I wish I would have done that different. I wish I would have done that. Oh, what's wrong with me? You're, pro you're probably in, in that mindset of thinking that, right? But well, guess what? As you're doing that, you're creating hell anxiety for yourself. Because little do you know, all that stuff that you did in the past led you to be, led you to be in this present moment right here, right now. Because think about it. Everything is a lesson, bro. Literally, everything is a lesson. Don't hold that weight on your shoulders, bro. You don't, you don't need to be walking around with no anvils, bro. Shout out to my boy Juice. I love him. You don't, be, you don't need to be walking around with that type of weight on you, bro. It all happens for a reason. Remember that. So, so don't beat yourself up, bro. Don't beat yourself up. Number two is a poor diet. You know what I'm saying? To me, a, a poor diet is like you just eating hella fast food all the time. You're eating hella junk food, take out all that stuff. You're not getting like a solid foundation of like meat, of meat, dairy, protein, greens, all that, all that kind of stuff. You feel me? Number two is poor diet. Number three is complaining. Complaining. Who got time to complain nowadays, bro? Bro, we got too much life to live and too much happiness. Complaining is just wasting our energy. We're wasting it. We, go, we don't got time to complain. Pfft. Who's complaining? As my boy J-Dub said, as my boy J-Dub said, I know you're watching this. They got to hit the door with that, bro. They got to hit the door. They got to go. Don't complain, bro. Instead, instead of complaining, be grateful for what you got. Please. Just be grateful, bro. Take this positive energy. Bow, bow, bow. You feel me? Just be, just be grateful, bro. Don't complain. It's a, who got time to complain? Number four, not living in the present. As I said before, when we're over here in the past, right? We're creating hell anxiety for ourselves. Here's the present and over here, right here, this is the future. Now, it's good to prepare yourself for the future and all that kind of stuff. But to the point where you're worrying about it too much, where you're getting anxious and stressing yourself out, we don't want none of that, bro. So we stay right here in the present moment and we just, we breathe. Breathe in happiness, breathe out negativity because we love ourselves unconditionally. You feel me? And we just look all around us at this beautiful nature, all this positivity. That's what we do. Now, number five, always trying to please others. And what I mean by that is, for example, with me, I know with my videos, bro, I know these videos are not going to please everybody. And I'm, okay, and I'm perfectly okay with that, bro. You know, the ones who, the ones who take this information and use it for good, 
I appreciate y'all for real. Look at my eyes, so beautiful. You feel me? Like, don't always try to please other people, bro. You need to worry about pleasing yourself. Always put yourself first, bro. Because, for example, if I, for example, like, if I need to get something done today for myself, I would have put this video to the side because you always got to put yourself first, bro, because at the end of the day, who are you going to have that you can always count on? Yourself. Think about that, bro. Understand that. Who you always got to have at the end of the day that you can count on, bro? Yourself. You feel me? Understand that. Yourself. Now, also, y'all make sure you got a pen and paper, bro. This is facts. Solid information. Make sure you got a pen and paper. Now, number Oh, the sun's out. Be grateful for the sun. Let's get in this. Yes, sir. Now, number six, drinking alcohol. Because alcohol is poison for your soul. Bro, when you're drinking alcohol, bro, you, are, you don't even realize it, but you're slowly killing your soul. And think about it. When you get drunk, right, and your friends... Friends go and say, yo, dude, did you see what you're doing? You had your shirt off running around just doing crazy stuff. And, the, and then you're going to be like, damn, that was me? No, it wasn't you. You got body snatched, bro. Because when you get drunk like that, your vibration is so damn low, it's to the point where you're on the same vibration as a demon. A demon, bro. And they can go and just body snatch you, bro, for a short period of time and just have their way with your avatar. You feel your vessel, your body. They can just have your way with it. Now, number seven, smoking cigarettes and... Smoky weed without a purpose behind it. And cigarettes, that's just not good for you. Y'all should already know that. Cigarettes is bad for you. But weed, weed is not bad for you. Weed is a natural plant. It's a cannabis, bro. It's a natural plant for you. You know? Now, because too much of a good thing can be bad. When I say weed can, can bring you to a low vibration, I mean if you're smoking weed every day, like, bro, you're waking and baking. Like, you're addicted to the weed, you know? Now, smoky weed is not bad at all, you know? I, but as long as you have a purpose behind it, as long as you're not just smoking to smoke, as long as you have a purpose behind it, bro, you're perfectly fine. Now, number eight, comparing yourself to others. Bro, you are a queen. You are a king, bro. Why are you comparing your castle to someone else's castle? That makes no damn sense, right? You don't got time for that. You got to work on building up your castle. Because think about this. Life is not no competition. Life is not no race. Don't be comparing your, your life to someone else's life, like, I, I, don't, I would never compare my life to anyone else's, bro. Because I'm, I'm too grateful for everything I got. I'm too grateful for so everything that's around me. I'm too... To me... Huh, my bad. Slow down. To be more important, I'm too damn busy working on myself, bro. And better than people around me to be worried about what... Oh, do you see what Billy, Billy Bob got? He just got a new Lamborghini. All right, bro. My car, work per my, car looks, my car works perfectly fine. I'm straight. I'm good, bro. You feel me? Don't compare your lives to other people's lives, bro. Come on now. Don't do that. <laughs> you are too strong of a king. You are too strong of a queen to be doing that. Come on now. Now, number nine, overthinking. And this goes and ties in with being, with worrying about the future. Because of present and the past. This goes in without worrying about the future. Because me personally, I overthink sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But Excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. I've gotten a lot better at it. And it doesn't happen as often, you feel me? Because I tend, because I tend, I don't know if she waited on me now, but send her positive energy and blessings over that guy. I don't know. But let's get back to the main point. Because when you go and like you're overthinking, bro, you're making up all these situations in your head like, damn, what this happens? What that was like, bro, stop. You are not your thoughts. Bro, understand that, bro. You are not your thoughts. You are not, you're a human, bro. Humans think up to at least 70,000 thoughts, 70,000 thoughts a day. And you don't even realize it. You don't even realize it, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you are not your thoughts, but like... Remember this quote. Let your thoughts come and go, but do not stop and serve them tea. Let your thoughts come and go, but do not stop and serve them tea. Mmm. If in the waters. Mmm. This side. Mmm. You feel me? <laughs> Shout out to Rob Smart. That, that's my guy. Now. Understand that quote, though, man. Write that down. Number 10. Talking down upon yourself. Like... Who's talking down upon herself? Please! Please! Damn, was voice crack, bro, bro. Who's gonna talk down down upon themselves like this and say, bro, oh, look at you. What am I doing? You're hitting each other. Bro, what? What? I'm gonna talk up upon myself, bro. And I'm gonna be like, damn, Jane, you look cute. You're cute. You're beautiful, bro. You're handsome. You're the best looking nigga in the world. And that's how I feel. I feel like I'm the best looking person in the world as a male, bro. You feel me? Because that's the confidence level I got. That's the self love I got for myself, bro. Like, dang, Jane. Like, dang, Jane. You, be, you really be working on your body and stuff, bro. You feel me? Like, 
bro, that's how I feel. Talk good about yourself, these good affirmations, bro, they will sit in your subconscious mind and change your mindset. Bro, I've done it. I'm telling you it works, bro. I'm telling you it works. Now, hang on. Let's turn the page. This might be a two, yeah. Woo, this one be a two part. I forgot I had 23 reasons on here. We got time for one more or two more. Number 11, not getting enough exercise. Let me put my book down for this. This is very important, y'all, because think about this. Get, get your paper and pen, right? Boom, a triangle right here, right? Your mind, body, and soul. All three of these have to be in divine order and equal for you to function, to read the function proper thing. But if you're fucked up in the head right now, your soul is going to be suffering and your body's going to be suffering. If your body fucked up, bro, like if you're lazy and you're out of shape and all that stuff, bro, your soul is going to be struggling. Your mind's going to be struggling. You're going to be downing yourself all the time. And if your soul's not there, bro, how are your mind and body going to work? How? It's all a triangle. Every part of you has a Every part of you has like a position to play, like it's basketball or football or soccer or something, right? All three of those have to be working good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, number 12. This will be our last one. Then I got some more for y'all in the next video, part two. Number 12, not being grateful. Bro, just be grateful, please. Pause the video, look around you and be like, damn, I got a bed, I got food, I got all this stuff. It may not be the food that you want, but you got food. Come on now. There's f over 40,000 people are dying today. Be grateful. I love y'all. Stay tuned for part two, my kings and queens. You feel this energy. Yes, sir.